welcome back to another DIY. This is my part of my wedding series and this is series number 14. I am going to make a centerpiece and I don't think I'm going to be using these but I'm not sure so I'm going to set those to the side. But what I have here is I have this bowl here. And then I have three of these candle holders. I have a light and I also have flowers here and then I have this container here so I'm going to make a tall centerpiece so where I'm going to start is first I'm going to start finish decorating these I started um, decorating these on another DIY so I'm going to continue Just putting the bling around here. And it does have the bling around here, so I'm going to put it around this one here because it doesn't have it. So I don't think I mentioned on uh, my DIYs. Uh, my DIYs, I've been using a lot of super glue. I mean, a lot of hot glue. And the reason is, it's for uh, immediate hold at that time. But make sure you guys, if you guys are recreating any of my DIYs in this series, that you, if you want a permanent hold, you want to use uh, E6000 or something stronger. You don't want to just use... Um, hot glue on glass because it doesn't last but I'm just doing this for video purposes only that's the only reason why I use hot glue because nine times out of ten after the DIY I um, take it down and reuse it and create it again I reuse I reuse the the product again and in, in, um, in another DIY so that's why I use a lot of hot glue but if you are recreating any of these DIYs, please, please, please use E6000 or stronger adhesive glue. Do not just use hot glue because hot glue is not a permanent hold for glass. Not at all. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm going to glue this on here, and I am going to use hot glue.
And you want to make sure you get this leveled. Get it right in the center. And I forgot to take that piece of paper off in there. Oh, well, I'm not going to take it off now. And make sure you get all your paper and stuff off. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to put this on top of here like this. You just want to make sure that everything is on there. Make sure that all your um, points are together. And you can stop it here if you want to. You can stop it at two. But I think I'm going to go a little bit further and I'm going to put this on top of here like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to glue it on top of here. So now you have a card. So what I'm going to put in here is I have, I have different kind of flowers here, which are uh, white and then I have peach. So I'm going to, no kind of way, I'm just going to make sure I put them enough in here. I don't want those at the bottom. Or do I? I think I do want those. Nope, I don't want those at the bottom. I guess it don't matter. And these are just some roses. Some big some big roses. I'm going to point them all to the front here. And I have some peach ones. Okay, and on top of that, I'm going to put some more white flowers.
And then I'm just going to fill it with the middle with hydrangeas. This is the finished product. It's just a small centerpiece. Well, actually it's not small, it's a medium size. It's not really large centerpiece. And you don't have to have it this color. I just chose this color because this is what I had. But the centerpiece is pretty. You don't have to have this color flowers in it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.